Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Colasso here today, guys. And as you can guess, we are doing draft. As always, we're doing a traditional draft here today. So we play three matches and uh, we, we see what we get. Hopefully we can go 3-0. Uh, I'd be happy with two wins as well, but we're going for the big 3-0. So let's hop into it. Hopefully it goes well for us. Open it up. Tazari, Beacon of Unity. So this is all about party. Spell calls one less for each creature in your party. It's four, six, so we're already going to take that. Uh, and for literally a bunch of mana, we <laughs> look at the top six cards of my library. I mean, reveal up to two cleric, rogue, warrior, wizard, and or ally cards from among them and put them into my hand, put the rest on the bottom of my library in any order. Obviously, Taziri's probably going to be the best card here. Relic Axe, I'm a big fan of. Chilling Trap's good in wizards. Um, Cliffhaven Kite Sail is a great card. Rabid Bite's great, but yeah, we'll take Taziri. Ooh, got an Intended Healer. Really big fan of Intended Healer. Making those cats can actually be really good. Uh, Disruption's okay. I haven't seen Shadow Cat even played yet. I really like Core Celebrant. That card's awesome. Really like uh, Expedition Diviner. 3-2 Flyer. If you control another wizard and it dies, you draw the card. Uh, really like Rabid Bite. Um, Mind Drain's great as well. Yeah, I think the best card's here. Probably the Intended Healer. We stay within the white, which... I definitely want to play because we got Taziri. Haven't been able to play him yet. Or her. So her. Um, okay, yeah, we'll take a Tended Healer. I'm okay with that. Pretty good start. Um, with this, you know, with the with the party stuff, we can always go white-black with, like, a bunch of clerics. Maybe some other stuff. You know, there's a lot of directions this could go in. Open up a Relic Amulet. Relic Amulet's good if we want the wizard route. Um, it's very good. We got Chronicler here. Whenever you cast a kick spell, you draw a card, then discard a card. And when he enters the battlefield, you may look at top five cards of your library. You may reveal a card with a kick ability from among them. Put it in your hand, put the rest on the library in random order. Now, I don't know what we are going to go get. It is a wizard, so keep that in mind. We got Disenchant. Prattling Felidor, which is good. Landfall Triggers, all those are good. Seagate Banneret is good. Bubble Snare is great. Um... The rest of these are kind of mediocre. I really like Relic Amulet. I really like the Chronicler. Um, if I'm already in white, there's a less chance that I'm going to go Kicker. Um, which makes me not really want to take this. It's a 3-mana 2-2, fine Kicker ability. Uh, if I do, I find Bubble Snare, which is probably what I'm going to take here. It's the best card here. The problem with blue-white is blue-white isn't really anything. I will take Bubble Snare, and we'll just see where we go. Core Blade Master is great. Horn Beetle's fine. Um, all these other cards are kind of mediocre. Um, I guess we'll take the Blade Master. Maybe we'll end up Red White Warriors. Who knows? Um, it's also it is a warrior, so it fits with our, you know, our party theme. Horn Beetle's fine as well if you can uh, put counters on things. I mean, we could still put counters on things. Horn Beetle could be the play here instead of the Blade Master if we don't want to go Warriors. Uh, the rest of these are kind of mediocre. Sizzling Barrage can kill things. Brute's just a big old 3-drop. I really like Canopy Bailoth as well. That card hits for a lot of damage. We'll take the Core Blade Master. This card can be really good in Warriors. Rolling Vortex, huh? We need to have each player's upkeep. This deals 1 damage to them. Whenever a player casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast a spell, this deals 5 to that player. Oh my god. Your opponents can't gain life this turn. Interesting. Yeah, Skyclave Geopede. Bannerets. Um, we got a Muck Lord there. We got a Bug Catcher. Tormenting Voice. Spare Supplies. Uh, really don't know what I want to pick here. Um, kind of want to keep with the party theme. I might take the Bug Catcher here. I'll probably take the Banneret. I really don't want a Rolling Vortex. So, right now we're just white something. I don't know. There's a Horn Beetle. Ravenger's Mace. This card's really good. Um, it's party themed, which is kind of where I'm headed. I really like Blight Blade as well. That card kills just everything. Dauntless Unity is great as well. Uh, we'll take the Blight Blade. We're this party friendly right now. That's where our deck is headed. Party friendly. Disenchant, Skyclave, Squid. Don't know if we're playing that bubble scenario. Let me just throw it in the side. Very unlikely. I, it is actually pretty likely at this point that i am going to play that uh, expedition champion a four three for three is good 
Gives me access to the Ravager's Mace if we go red. I already have the Cord Blade Master, which makes me really want to go that way. I also have other warriors with the Seagate Banneret. Uh, Taziri's a human warrior herself, so yeah. Expedition Champion seems fine. Well, Mage is familiar. It's a great card. Probably not great for us. Rage, Molten Blast, and Sizzling Barrage. Broken Wings here as well. None of these cards are cards I'm probably going to play. We're definitely not going to be in the kicker deck. Um, and I'm not really a big fan of any of these. I guess we'll take Barrage. If we go red, then there's a chance we play it. Ooh, Outrider is great. There's a Cliffhaven Kite Sail. That card's great with the Blade Master. Allows you to swing for some big damage in the air. Uh, Highborn Vampires, okay. Uh, yeah, Outrider's definitely the best card here. It looks like we might be going Red White Warriors. Don't hold me to that, but it's looking that way. Drawn a Silencer. Our party could be big. I don't know if we're going to play black. We'll play the we'll take the Hellhound. There's a big chance here we're going red-white. Ooh, Goblin Rogue. I'll take that. Um, Some sideboard stuff here. Sideboard. Uh, Sparks of Light Applies is actually fine. It seems kind of slow, but it, it can get you there. Crawling Barons is an amazing card. This card gets so big in the late game if you have nothing to do. It's probably going to be our pick. Other good cards here. Really not a lot of good cards here for us anyway. I mean, it doesn't matter what deck you're in. You're taking Crawling Barons. But, I mean, just looking around. Uh, Tangled is pretty good. Um, Royal Mage is good. Diviner is good. Scythe Cat's good. A lot of really good cards here, but yeah, Barons is just an, a, a nasty card. Shadow's Verdict, huh? So, yeah, that's not going to be it for us. Shadow Cat, Relic Golem. There's an Outrider. Currently, the card we're going to take. Expedition Stalker, Gloom Hunter, Vanquish the Weak's really strong. Another Expedition Champion is probably what I'm taking. Stonework Pack Beast is actually really good. So. Actually, I'm probably going to take that over the Expedition Champion. It's a great two-drop. Counts as anything, so it helps with all our party stuff, which is awesome. Um, I'm happy to take a Pack Beast almost any time I can. If we can find more Pack Beasts, I'd be very happy. So far, I'm feeling pretty confident in this deck. Um, I don't have any other Clerics. So right now, Attended Healer isn't doing a lot. She is a Cleric herself, though, so we'll see. I'm feeling pretty confident in this draft so far, though. Cliff Avian Cell Sword's a fine two drop for this deck. Adept's a fine two, uh, three dropped. Oh, Blood Priest is awesome. Blood Priest is great. Uh, probably can't pass the Expedition Champion. It's just too strong in this list. Blood... I don't know if we're playing black yet. Playing three colors in this set's pretty difficult. Um, so it's something I'm probably not looking to play. Um, I think we'll just take the Expedition Champion and be happy. These are... this. Every time I play this, almost always going to be a 4-3 in this deck so far. Don't know if we're going to play the Hellhound. Oh, wow! We get a slam dunk of a pick here, guys! Wasn't planning to go Warriors again, but I mean... We just keep getting good Warriors. I mean, we'll take the Cargan War Leader. Guy click Pickaxe is a great card. Protector's great. Scorch Rider, Science, Sizzle, and Barrage is fine. Uh, yeah, all these are fine. I'm actually really ha- I don't really like the Wayward Guide Beast. This card's bad. Uh, Protector's great for this deck. It allows me to have another Cleric for the Attended Healer. Gives me some more party stuff. Granted, we're probably never going to use this card. Uh, the- I mean, right now, it's just going to be a big old 4-6 in our deck. And that's- it's really where the, uh, where it's going to end for us. Probably going to take the Fissure Wizard here. Good to drop. This might be monstrous. I'm not a big fan of for this set. It's not very good. Actually, Cliffhaven Kite Sails, great. Um, we'll take that. I really like Kite Sail. Auto attach something, give something flying, give a big old 4 3 flyer or a Cargan War Leader, or just something really good. And another Banneret. Prowling Felidor is a great card, but 
Um, I mean, yeah, it's a great card. Yeah, we'll play it. I'll play it. I'm playing that over the banneret. It's not, it doesn't help us with our party theme stuff, but it's still such a great card that it's almost worth playing. Like, Spellcraft is great. We got a bunch of party stuff in here. Take a big old Relic Golem. Doubt we're going to play it, but it's there. Scavenge Blade. Another Outrider, which is great, but um, I do like to have one or two Scavenge Blades in, definitely when we have a Blade Master in the deck. Stack's looking pretty good. I take out the Hellhound. Just kind of looking at it so far. Um, don't know how we're going to get that Ravager's Mace. I don't know if we're going to be able to play it. Maybe I'll play like one or two Blacks in here to be able to play it. I wish I had a way to play, like, Tazirish is not possible to, 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 to use, like, the, like, that ability takes so much mana, so much mana. Uh, we'll take a Adept. Alright, pack three. Oh my god, Cargan Intimidator. Yes. What is this? I asked for, uh, I, you know, I Warriors was such a good deck to get in. I mean, really, we're still in the party stuff, but wow. Yeah, Cargan Intimidator is just going to be our easy pick here. Slam dunk of a pick. Akron Warriors, great. Oh my god, another Cargan War Leader. Shepherd of Heroes. Wow, what a great. Whoo, I'm probably going to have to take the War Leader. There's so many warriors that it's just... Oh my god, it puts in... It, the, the, the plus one, plus one from it is just so good. Shepard here is great as well, but I'd rather have another Cargan War Leader. Pack Beast. Cell Sword's fine, Add Up's fine. Um, but Pack Beast is just... The two drop we want in this deck. Wow, this deck's coming out to be a fantastic looking deck. Um, I'm not going to play that. No sizzling barrage here. I'm not a big fan of it though. Pressure point's great. I guess we'll just play Adept. Give us a wizard. Well, there's a resolute strike here and a boot base camp. Yeah, I think strike is just it. It's just better in this particular deck. Have a resolute strike I'm fine with. Don't know if we're playing the spare supplies. I don't think so. It kind of plays a little too slow. We have like barely any removal on this deck, but it's such a good looking deck so far. I don't know if we're going to play the Attended Healer as well. I don't really have any other Clerics. I mean, my Stonework Pack Beast can be Clerics, I guess. Um, Yeah, I think this is pretty easy Outrider. Uh, Tazim Raptor is good, but we don't have any of the, uh, the backside, like, land cards. Uh, we'll take out Rider. Another Scavenge Blade, Cheesh. Alright, we're gonna play. I'm probably gonna focus just Heavy Warriors at this point. Yeah, at this point, I think we're just gonna go, uh, I mean, I'm still gonna worry about the party stuff because of these two, but... Like, I wish I had a way to play this Ravager's Mace, man. Alright, you guys. So, this deck looks very good. Alrighty. So, looking at this, we don't really have any removal, which could be an issue. Um... Things I do have. I mean, I'm not going to play that sneak at this point. I think this is our deck. We'll just run 8 and 8. 
Uh, let's get the good lands. We run the new lands. I also have the fancy old lands. But, you know, let's use these new lands that just came out in this set because why not? I really do like them. Alrighty, and that's gonna be our deck. Run the lightning bolt sleeves and let's hop into it. Oh, what is this hot, hot garbage? Okay, yeah, I mean, we'll keep it. We'll ditch land. I mean, I'm actually going to ditch the Resolute Strike. I want to keep all four lands for the Prowling Felidor. I mean, we do have a Stonework Pack Beast. <sighs> Alright, there's Kargan Intimidator. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Hopefully he doesn't just kill it. Or... He's not gonna do anything. Um... Going for four. And then, uh, we're gonna go ahead and play the Stonework Pack Beast. If I could, like, draw into, like, a war leader, I'm feeling pretty happy. I hope he doesn't have removal here. I do have double resolute strike, but I didn't leave enough mana to play either. Wow, double double celebrants, huh? It's one of the better uh white cards. out pretty well. There's a Clerics of Life's Bond. Oh no! That thing's gonna get pretty big. So it's only when he gains like the first time each turn. So keep that in mind. I'm down to nine. Got rid of one of those celebrants as well, which feels pretty good. Got another resolute strike in hand. Hoping he's not sitting on too much removal. Got another planes as well. Keep that in mind. We can keep our Felidor uh, keep growing. A four or five is a lot harder to deal with than a uh, three four. It's gonna start comboing off here. I just think he'd play that without kicking it. Jeesh, man. Synchronized Spellcraft. That's a good one. Get rid of the big bad, big bad roof, uh, wolf there. Send on one more resolute strike. Sure. Slowly clearing his board. Going pretty well for us. Tended healer. Oh no. I didn't want to see that. If he's gaining life every turn and uh, making pups every turn, dude, we are in trouble. It didn't hit me once and I'm down to 14 life because he's going to make cats continuously.
guy's gonna gain life every turn if he keeps drawing into um stuff. Another Blight Priest. Oh no. This poor Celebrant is just triggering so much. I can't get this guy down, man. It's just... Too much. Too much synergy. Through the Crawling Barons. He's just not- he's not blocking my Intimidator. He just won't do it. He's gaining all the life back anyway, so it's like not worth it for him. Thank you, finally. We're out of cards in hand. I mean, if he just, he just, man, dude, this guy is on the cleric grind. This is not a good matchup for us, dude. Life gain is not good for us. Probably gonna lose here. Does this thing can gain trample? This guy is just... Yeah, I can't beat that. Unfortunately, man, that is just not the matchup for me. I can't, I can't deal with all the life gain this guy's getting, dude. It's ridiculous. Uh, all right. I mean, we're just gonna have to run it back. Um, it's a bad matchup for us, dude. I can't. Life gain. Life gain's really hard. Um, it's like the worst matchup I could have got. This guy, I think, he played at least three core celebrants. And if he has at least three of them, oh man, he had like a bunch of marauding priests as well, so. Uh, this guy's got a good deck. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm looking at combo wombos, guys. We got a kite sail, cliff haven. Uh, or cliff haven, kite sail, I'm sorry, and a core blade master. All right, already hitting for six. I love Blade Master and Cliffhaven Kite Sail together. Great combo, fantastic combo. He's probably gonna kill my uh, target Intimidator here. Or he might kill my Blade Master. With the Dauntless Unity. Fortunately, our Blade Master Zebo, we got him down to six already, dude. Four in the air, a turn is is no joke. And we got rid of I mean, he did have to trade his clerics to life spawn. Oh yeah, dude. That's not a good play for him. Coward means he can't block um. Oh, I can just... Alright, nice. That's how we want to play. Perfect. It's not going to go that great for us. Again. N absolutely no way. Um, but yeah, Cliffhaven, Kite Sail, plus... Um, you guys kind of see the combo with the Kite Sail now. Why it's in the deck with the uh, Core Blade Master. It's just, I mean, them together is just... Um, just absolutely nasty of a combo. Anyway, we don't honor our opponent. Okay, this is fine. I got a pack beast. Not really good. Not a great hand. Don't get me wrong, but I have a pack beast. That's something. And we just drew a red mana, so that gives me access to scavenge blade as well. We're just not off to a fast start, man. 
Uh, I'd rather have Ambush over Pack Beast, obviously. Scavenger Blade makes it a 3-3. Three, 3-3 three. Three, three is a lot harder to deal with than a 4-1, so... Um, okay, so it looks like he's off to a slow start. But that being said, uh, we're gonna go ahead and be on a aggressive start. Throw that Scavenger Blade right on our Ambusher and swing in for... 3. I feel pretty good. We have Kite Seal in hand. I'm kind of hoping we... Oh! This guy's getting mana screwed. Really good for us, guys. Against this Cleric deck, this is what we want to see. Um, we'll play Outrider here. Buff Ambusher to 4-4. Four, four. Swing for 4. Could have waited and played Protector first and then would have got an extra plus 1 out of that. Uh, well, Pack Beast as well. Alright, well, he got mana screwed. Um, I don't like winning that way against people, but against, uh, that particular deck, I'm feeling so grateful that we, he just got mana screwed because, ooh, clerics, clerics against aggro is not what I want to see. Uh, not a fast hand. Not a fast hand. I hope we don't see clerics again. All right, he did keep all seven. Um, but this hand has Felidor in it, has Outrider. Uh, four lands isn't I- Oh, no, dude. I don't want to draw lands. He's playing green. Okay, wait. There's War Leader. Fine with that. A little Outrider, buff War Leader, swing for four. It's probably not gonna block. All right, I'm down to 16. So next turn, I'm looking to go Felidor, play Planes, keep up Resolute Strike. This guy's on the kicker list for sure. Oh yeah. That was getting passed around in our pod quite a bit. Ooh, he's got a Roost of Drakes. That's a problem. Just kind of want to clear his board. Keep clearing it. Keep clearing it. Keep clearing it. Looks like he's going to kick out that Roost of Drakes. If I had to guess. He might even play it for one. He might have another card that he wants to kick, but there's no way he's... Oh! Another War Leader? Dude. Second War Leader, guys. He's definitely got something in hand. Definitely got something in hand. Yeah, chilling trap. That's fine. So, uh, we'll take zero there. But he's gonna have to trade this chronic where he can't take all this damage. Down to nine. Double war leaders. Oh man, that feels good. So my, he might look to bounce something here. Or, uh, he could have a, a bubble. He'll play bubble for one. He, You know what? Him sitting on this one island is really hurting him because he wants to probably kick... He can't... Oh, he can't kick it because it's too blue. Wow, that guy kind of got mana screwed there. I don't know what the else was in his hand, but he couldn't couldn't kick that because uh, he needed... He needed other things than just... Um, than just green. He needs some blue mana there and he wasn't drawing into it. I love Warriors. I think Warriors is probably my favorite to play in this set. I don't know why. Probably because I like to play aggro. Um, I'm not a super big control player. I do like playing control time to time. The format's good for it. The format's not very good for control. Um, the blue-black rogue list is super fun to play. But waiting for this guy to do some sideboard in here. Hopefully he sideboards pretty quick. Alrighty. Off at it again. We our opponent. Obviously, they're going to play first. Um, this is good. I have Blade Master, and anytime I have Blade Master, I almost want to keep it because you can OTK like very fast with Blade Master, depending if we like Cliffhaven, Kite Sail, Ambush, or like 
you know, Resolute Strike. That's a lot of damage already. So, uh, we'll go Ambusher. What do you play? Oh, wow. S played, uh, played Valley. Oh, he didn't find anything. Him not finding something's really good. Uh, we'll go ahead and swing first. I doubt he blocks. He's gonna go ahead and take one damage. I could buff, but, uh, yeah, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and play the Horde Blade Master and pass. Keep up one white for the, uh, Resolute Strike. I'm very much hoping I see some sort of artifact. Um, okay, I'm fine with Expedition Champion. Big ol' 4-3. Hopefully he doesn't have counter spell. Oh, chilling trap! No, can't kill it. But nothing happens, fortunately. You get taken to draw a card though, because he has the uh, chronicler on board. Keep that in mind. All right, let's uh, start applying some damage here. Hopefully this sticks. Oh, he's gonna vision here. Try to find something. We're also gonna do that. Apply a little bit more damage as well to face. Oh, dude. How many chilling traps does this guy have? Alright, well, we got rid of his Chronicler, so we can't keep drawing cards off that. He's got a lot of mana in hand, dude. Rebirth is looking pretty good. Here comes the colony. All right, so his board's gonna start getting pretty, pretty outrageous for us. Before I play Outrider, we're gonna play Adept and Stone uh, Impact Beast. Swing for four. If he blocks, he blocks. You know. Is this an instant? Oh no, it is an instant. He's just gonna play it on Colony and get his guy back. Yeah, that was a dumb play. Whatever, we made him play it. He lost two life. It's fine, and he comes back as a 2-2 instead of a 3-3, so I'm okay with that. Actually, I don't, he, I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. Outrider's hitting for four next turn. Or three. Wow. Hit a uh, Brute and an Expedition Diviner. Here's Brute. They're fine. Taziri, Beacon of Unity. Building up my board. Uh, Taziri. Big ol' Kazudu Stomper. He's gonna bounce the, uh, valley. And he's... Doesn't matter what else he bounces. But he's gonna bounce the valley there. Big Kazudu Stomper on board. Sky Cleave Squid. Alright. Kinda of like it. That's what we were looking for. Watch this, boys. Oh my god, watch this. Does anything have reach? <laughs> oh my god! Good game! Well, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. We just full partied Outrider, dude. That's some. That's some you don't see every day. Wow. Wow, we full partied an Outrider. And <laughs> Cliff Haven Sale OTK. Oh, man. That guy's mad. 
I had to double check to make sure that, um... Oh, Steel Claw Lance is a great card. Relic Vile. I haven't been able to play this yet. Uh, I haven't been able to play the Cleric Sect that much yet. I just haven't been uh, open to it. But Cleric's Vile plays great in those decks. All right, boys. Up against Taco here. Uh, looks like a bad hand, but it's fine. I got Banneret into uh, Expedition Champion. It's a pretty aggressive start. And if our opponent doesn't know we're playing aggro, this is can be an aggressive start. I hope we draw into, um, hope we draw into some more aggressive things here. But oh, I'm all again down as well. Really don't want to see. Uh, really don't want to see lands. I love these lands that this guy has. I don't think I've seen those before. Maybe once or twice before, but. Wow, those lands are sweet, dude. I missed out. I didn't even know those came out. Dude, I'm just drawing lands off the top. What is this? Come on, man. Here's Intimidator. Uh, definitely not gonna block that. We should have a resolute strike. Scale the heights? Oh no. Alright, so the mammoth's pretty big. Um, good thing about it is I can make it not be able to block my intimidator. Bad thing about it is it's an 8-8. Eight eight. Uh, I will take 8. No point blocking. Go ahead and play the Expedition Champion. We'll try to beat him back down. I hope he just, just doesn't get up to an 8-8 again. Scale of Heights really helped him that turn get up pretty big. I mean, he's up to 6. I don't really care about the Muck Lord. We'll go ahead and take 6. He's gonna block the Muck Lord. Uh, I'm gonna start blocking the Mammoth here. Um, he's running out of cards to play. I'm hoping that works for me. As long as he can't give the Mammoth Trample, it should be okay. I'll start blocking like Banneret. I'm gonna run out of cards here to start end up blocking with. I might just have to go for a big trade for seven here. I'll trade like the Outrider, Intimidator, and Banneret. I go for the big trades. Problem is, you get to kill everything, dude. Just feels... Yeah, that had to go. This leaves me up on board. 
He can't swing the acquisitions expert if I got the banner at. Oh my god, into a war leader? Dude. Nice. Swing for seven. Nice, got him down to nine. Woo, feel pretty good about getting that mammoth off board. So happy I had one mana left over uh, for the Intimidator play. Fastwood Surge is going to go ahead and... Uh, Go ahead and bring out some lands. Got a 3-4 acquisitions expert. I mean, I'll take three and just swing back and win. So, there's that. I'm gonna win anyway. Alright, there's game one. Ooh, that mammoth was putting in some work. Um, do I want to switch anything? Maybe a sizzling barrage to deal with what we've seen. I really like the way the deck's playing, though. It's playing really good. I just don't have a lot of removal in here, so taking things out can be risky. Uh, I guess we'll just keep as is. It's playing pretty well. Uh, Taco's still sideboard in here, but yeah, deck's playing super well. Enjoying it. Is this a game two or game three? I can't even remember. Oh, no, this is game three. That's right. See what a uh, taco goes ahead and sideboards in. Oh no, dude, what's with these land hands? Uh, this is bad. He knows I'm playing aggro now. If I keep a land with five lands in it, we're off to a bad start. Granted, there's a war leader in here. <laughs> um, but there's also one, two, three, four, five, six lands. This is better, I guess. We'll go ahead and toss back one of the lands. It's not, it's not great. I kind of like the last hand better. Uh, well... This is fine. I guess I like Crawling Barons. It's not awful. Oh, man. All right, so he threw in Blade Blade. That card's actually a pain because it's going to be able to trade with whatever I play. Uh, and I'd rather take care of it with, like, a Pack Beast. Oh, no. Okay, so he, he switched to a more aggressive start. There's a Champion. There's Pack Beast. We'll go ahead and trade with the Pack Beast, too, with either the Blade Blade or the uh, Blood Priest. Uh, preferably the Blade Blade because it can kill anything. And once I get Crawling Barons going, uh, that card's a little bit more difficult to stop. Sure, we'll trade. I know I'm off to a uh, rough start here, so I'll trade with what we have to. His deck probably wins in the long game, so I have to be somewhat careful. If I can get this uh, Crawling Barons big, I mean, we could win with that. We haven't been able to uh, win with that. Oh. So he's getting a 3-3 th uh, three, three Blade Blade? I, I would, see, I would save that. Wait, what? Maybe I misread that. Okay, how's this for plays? We'll we do this. We'll go Cargan War Leader. That's a 5-4. Cliffhaven Sail. We'll throw that on the Expedition Champion. Swing for 5 in the air. Cliffhaven Kite Sail is probably my favorite artifact in the set so far. Uh, one mana attach gives anything flying is pretty good. Blade Blade here, 2-2. Uh, two, two. You would think Skill of Heights looks like it would give something like Reach or some shit, but it doesn't. These like, Crawling Barons are going to be pretty big here. Getting pretty soon. Keep swinging five in the air. See if he has an answer or not. He does not have an answer. We'll pass. We'll start getting these Crawling Barons big. Uh, eventually, maybe he won't realize that I can win with that card pretty fast. There's a Dreadworm.
We'll go ahead and play the uh, synchronized spellcraft, kill off the dreadworm. Oh, he's gonna oblivion's hunger it. Good play. Okay, so with him doing that, we'll go ahead and play Outrider. We'll make our war leader um, doesn't get indestructible. Just a faster beat down in the sky, I guess. Even if he kills my expedition champion, the Cliffhaven Kite still stays on board, and I just equipped it to literally anything else. Ooh, Grass Maul. Awesome card. Super fun to play. I haven't even touched my barons yet, but I haven't need to. Expedition champion is so good in the warriors deck, man. This guy really needs to find an answer here. And he needs to find something to kill my artifact. If he can't kill my artifact, he lost. Yeah, he lost here. Because even if he killed my creature, like I said, I can just literally equip that to... Yeah, good game. I think that was a 3-0. If I do... If I recall that. Guys, we have just managed to get 3-0. Savvy Hunter, fine card. Three wins, baby, we'll claim. No losses, 3,000 gems, and six Rising Zendikar packs. Before we end the video, obviously, we're going to open up eight Rising Zendikar packs as we gain some other packs through that. Um, if I open this pack, obviously, we're going to take the uh, Shatter Skull Chargers, the best card in this pack. Close second is probably, in my opinion, the Rockslide Sorcerer or the uh, Wind Rider Wizard if uh, the rest are trash. Next. Ooh, Vaswood Surge. That's a great card. Mythic Wild Card. So, say, I don't know, we just got a trash Mythic. I'd take the Vaswood Surge here. 100%. Expedition Healer, close second, though. I don't really like the uh, the blue uh, dual land there or the multi land. Oh, wow. Fury? Jesus. Got a Demon Disciple in here as well. Vanquish of the Week. Mind Carver. I don't play too much ladder, so... Um, the cards really don't matter to me. Really, a lot of the stuff I use, I use for Brawl, which eventually I bring you guys some Brawl decks. If you guys want to see Brawl, let me know down in the comments, and I can bring you Brawl. Um, Canyon Gerbo. Oh, my God. I have not played this card yet, but I've had it played against me, and it is very good. Definitely in draft. If you're like super hard into the cleric deck, oh man, that card's nasty. Oh my god, look how good this pack is. Let me just explain how good this pack is, right? Obviously, you're taking uh, a Shia, uh, but there's a Thundering Rebuke in here. Practice Tactics, which has been good. Cliffhaven Kite Sail. Hope you guys realize how good that card is now. Um, base Camp's here too. Like, if you're hard into the party deck, jeez. Fury's great. Oh, wow. Look how great this is. You got Chronicler, which is good for that. Uh, for, uh, for, um, Kicker decks. You got the Tangled guy over here is really good. Fury's really good. Rest of the pack's kind of dookie. Relic Amulet's amazing. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Swarm Shambler. Honestly, if I was looking at this, if I was already in the Wizards, I'd take this. Honestly... I'd probably take this over the Swarm Shamler. I've not been impressed with this card. Not a big fan of it. I'd probably end up taking Relic Amulet and try to force Wizards if I open this. Alrighty, boys and girls. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to keep uploading this stuff. You know, hopefully you guys really kind of just enjoy my drafts. Um, I enjoy drafting. It's what I play when I, when I play Magic. I don't play a lot of standards, so don't expect a lot of that on this channel. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys drop it a like. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. But other than that, man... I'm your boy, Quasel. Make sure you guys keep on dueling. I'll see you guys next time.